Eldorado County District Attorney's Office Cold Case Webisodes, where we ask you, the viewer, to help us solve a cold case homicide. This cold case involves the senseless murder of 49-year-old Linda Hasumi Murray. Linda was married to Brian Murray, and much like many marriages, they had their ups and downs. During one of these downs, the two agreed to separate. Though Brian and Linda maintained a good relationship, both started to date other people and began to move on. Linda moved from their home on Stoughton Street in Sacramento to right here in the La Riviera Drive Apartments. Linda's PT Cruiser, eight years later, still sitting in the evidence yard, is what she drove as she frequented around College Town Drive and Stinger's Sports Bar. This is around the time that she met her boyfriend, Donnie Ferriman, who was also living at the La Riviera Apartments. The two started a relationship that was still going in February of 2008. February 29th, 2008, Linda had just left Brian's home on Stoughton at around 9.30 p.m. to go to the store, but she never returned. Brian said it was not uncommon for her to leave and not return, sometimes for hours at a time. Linda would usually stay in phone contact with him, but not this time. March 1st turns into Sunday, March 2nd, and at 12.30 in the afternoon, some motorcyclists pull over to this popular rest area and rafting site known as Skunk Hollow on Salmon Falls Road. One of the motorcycle riders walk over to the edge and locate Linda Murray's lifeless body over the side of the embankment. Why? And more importantly, who? Who could have been responsible for this senseless murder? On March 3rd, alert Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies located Linda's PT Cruiser at this shopping center in Sacramento. The vehicle was seized and processed for evidence and still remains in El Dorado County Sheriff's Office's evidence yard. Further investigation about the vehicle revealed it was parked on February 29, 2008 between 10 o'clock and 10.30 p.m. within 30 minutes to an hour of her leaving Brian's house. An eyewitness says a white male was walking in and around the PT Cruiser and was associated with a white, silver, or gray four-door pickup truck. Who did Linda meet in that dark parking lot? Was it someone she knew? Was it a chance encounter with a stranger? Was she forced to leave her car? These are the questions we are asking you to help us find out the answers to and solve Linda Murray's cold case homicide. If you knew Linda, any associates of hers, Donnie Fairman or Brian Murray, please contact us. You may have information that could help us solve this case.